Brunauer Emmett Teller Bet theory aims to explain the physical adsorption of gas molecules on a solid surface and serves as the basis for an important analysis technique for the measurement of the specific surface area of materials. In 1938, Stephen Brunauer, Paul Hugh Emmett, and Edward Teller published the first article about the BET theory in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. The BET theory applies to systems of multilayer adsorption and usually utilizes probing gases that do not chemically react with material surfaces as adsorbates to quantify specific surface area. Nitrogen is the most commonly employed gaseous adsorbate used for surface probing by BET methods. For this reason, standard BET analysis is most often conducted at the boiling temperature of N2 77 K. Further probing adsorbates are also utilized, albeit with lower frequency, allowing the measurement of surface area at different temperatures and measurement scales. These have included argon, carbon dioxide, and water. Specific surface area is a scale-dependent property, with no single true value of specific surface area definable, and thus quantities of specific surface area determined through BET theory may depend on the adsorbate molecule utilized and its adsorption cross-section. Concept. The concept of the theory is an extension of the Langmuir theory, which is a theory for monolayer molecular adsorption, to multilayer adsorption with the following hypotheses Gas molecules physically adsorb on a solid in layers infinitely Gas molecules only interact with adjacent layers, and The Langmuir theory can be applied to each layer the resulting bet equation is 1 v p 0 p minus 1 equals c minus 1 v m c p P zero plus one V M C one Display style frac one V left left P underscore zero P right minus one right equals frac C one V underscore mathram M C left frac P P underscore zero right plus frac one V underscore M C Q quad one where P Display style P and p 0 display style p underscore 0 are the equilibrium and the saturation pressure of adsorbates at the temperature of adsorption v display style v is the adsorbed gas quantity for example e in volume units and v M display style v underscore mathram m is the monolayer adsorbed gas quantity c display style c is the bet constant c equals exp e one minus e L R T two 
display style c equals exp left frac e underscore one e underscore mathrm l r t right q quad two where e one display style e underscore one is the heat of adsorption for the first layer and e l display style e underscore mathrm l is that for the second and higher layers and is equal to the heat of liquefaction equation 1 is an adsorption isotherm and can be plotted as a straight line with 1 v p 0 p minus 1 display style 1 v p underscore 0 p minus 1 on the y axis and phi equals p p 0 display style var phi equals p p underscore 0 on the x axis according to experimental results this plot is called a bet plot. The linear relationship of this equation is maintained only in the range of 0.05 p p 0.35 display style 0.05 the value of the slope a display style a and the y intercept i display style i of the line are used to calculate the monolayer adsorbed gas quantity vm display style v underscore mathrm m and the bet constant c display style c the following equations can be used v m equals 1 a plus I three display style v underscore m equals frac one a plus i q quad three c equals one plus a i four Display style c equals one plus frac a i q quad four. The bet method is widely used in surface science for the calculation of surface areas of solids by physical adsorption of gas molecules. The total surface area s t o t a L display style s underscore mathrm total and the specific surface area s b e t display style s underscore mathrm bet are given by s t o t a L equals V M N S V five Display style S underscore mathrm total equals frac left V underscore mathrm M ends right V Q quad five S B E T equals S T O T A L A six Display style s underscore mathrm bet equals frac s underscore mathrm total a q quad six where v m display style v underscore mathrm m is in units of volume, which are also the units of the monolayer volume of the adsorbate gas n. Display style n is Avogadro's number s. Display style s 
the adsorption cross section of the adsorbing species V display style V the molar volume of the adsorbate gas and a display style a the mass of the solid sample or adsorbent topic derivation The BET theory can be derived similarly to the Langmuir theory, but by considering multilayered gas molecule adsorption, where it is not required for a layer to be completed before an upper layer formation starts. Furthermore, the authors made five assumptions. Adsorptions occur only on well-defined sites of the sample surface one per molecule. The only molecular interaction considered is the following one, a molecule can act as a single adsorption site for a molecule of the upper layer. The uppermost molecule layer is in equilibrium with the gas phase, i.e. similar molecule adsorption and desorption rates. The desorption is a kinetically limited process, i.e. a heat of adsorption must be provided. These phenomena are homogeneous, i.e. same heat of adsorption for a given molecule layer. It is E1 for the first layer, i.e. the heat of adsorption at the solid sample surface. The other layers are assumed similar and can be represented as condensed species, i.e. liquid state. Hence, the heat of adsorption is L is equal to the heat of liquefaction. At the saturation pressure, the molecule layer number tends to infinity i.e. equivalent to the sample being surrounded by a liquid phase let us consider a given amount of solid sample in a controlled atmosphere. Let theta i be the fractional coverage of the sample surface covered by a number i of successive molecule layers. Let us assume that the adsorption rate rads, I1 for molecules on a layer I1, i.e. formation of a layer I is proportional to both its fractional surface θ I1 and to the pressure P, and that the desorption rate RDEs, I on a layer I is also proportional to its fractional surface θ I R A D S I minus one equals K I P theta I minus one Display style R underscore mathram adds I one equals K underscore I P theta underscore I one R D E S I equals K minus I theta I display style R underscore mathram des I equals K underscore I theta underscore I where K and K I are the kinetic constants depending on the temperature for the adsorption on the layer I minus one and desorption on layer I, respectively. For the adsorptions, these constant are assumed similar whatever the surface. Assuming an Arrhenius law for desorption, the related constants can be expressed as K I equals exp minus e i r t display style k underscore i equals exp e underscore i r t where a is the heat of adsorption equal to e1 at the sample surface and to l otherwise
Topic: <laughs> Finding the linear bet range. It is still not clear on how to find the linear range of the BET plot for microporous materials in a way that reduces any subjectivity in the assessment of the monolayer capacity. Rukerel et al. suggested a procedure that is based on two criteria. C must be positive implying that any negative intercept on the BET plot indicates that one is outside the valid range of the BET equation. Application of the BET equation must be limited to the range where the term V P, P0 continuously increases with P, P0. Applications Topic Cement Paste By application of the BET theory, it is possible to determine the inner surface of hardened cement paste. If the quantity of adsorbed water vapor is measured at different levels of relative humidity a BET plot is obtained. From the slope a display style a and y intersection i display style i on the plot it is possible to calculate v m Display style v underscore mathrm m and the bet constant c. Display style c. In case of cement paste hardened in water, t equals 97 degrees Celsius, the slope of the line is a equals 24.20. Display style a equals twenty four point two zero, and the y intersection i equals one three. Display style i equals one third. From this follows v m equals one a plus i equals 0 0.0408 display style v underscore mathrm m equals frac 1 a plus i equals 0 0.0408 c equals 1 plus a I equals seventy three point six. Display style C equals one plus frac A I equals seventy three point six. From this, the specific bet surface area S B E T Display style s underscore mathrm bet can be calculated by use of the above mentioned equation. One water molecule covers s equals zero point one one four n m two. Display style s equals zero point one one four mathrm nanometer carrot two. It follows thus s b e t equals one hundred and fifty six m two g. Display style s underscore mathrm bet equals one hundred and fifty six mathrm m carrot two mathrm g, which means that hardened cement paste has an inner surface of one hundred and fifty six square meters per gram of cement. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Activated carbon. For example, activated carbon strongly adsorbs many gases and has an adsorption cross section S display style S of 0.162 square nanometers for nitrogen adsorption at liquid nitrogen temperature 77 K. BET theory can be applied to estimate the specific surface area of activated carbon from experimental data, demonstrating a large specific surface area, even around 3,000 square meters per gram. However, this surface area is largely overestimated due to enhanced adsorption in micropores, and more realistic methods should be used for its estimation, such as the subtracting pore effect method. Catalysis <coughs> 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 In the field of solid catalysis, the surface area of catalysts is an important factor in catalytic activity. Inorganic materials such as mesoporous silica and layered clay minerals have high surface areas of several hundred square meter per gram calculated by the BET method, indicating the possibility of application for efficient catalytic materials. Specific surface area calculation The ISO 9277 standard for calculating the specific surface area of solids is based on the BET method. See also Adsorption Langmuir adsorption model Capillary condensation Surface tension <laughs>